anyway, um, I want to, I should probably clarify, it's, it's not the, um, the problems themselves that I came for. I didn't want to, I, I didn't want to go to a place where there are problems just because I want to experience problems. It's, it's not that at all. Uh, but rather, there's something that happens to people when they live in that kind of society that changes them in uh, important ways. I grew up in Canada, and I lived there until I was 17, at which point I moved to the United States. Um, and Canada routinely tops the UN's list of best countries in the world to live in. and. The reasons for that are because the UN uses very utilitarian metrics. Uh, it looks at crime rate. Canada has a great crime rate. Education. Canada has a pretty good education system. Um, standard of living in terms of health care and things like that. Yes, Canada has its famed health care system. And so Canada has all these uh, kind of statistics and numbers going for it, which is great. But I have always been very turned off by the Canadians' attitude towards their society. They are, they are, to me, they are intolerably arrogant regarding their society. And there's this sort of ideology that, hey, don't you know that we live in the best country in the world? And it's, it's to the point where you can't criticize Canada at all. You can't complain about anything because as soon as you do, they say, hey, Come on, we're in Canada. This is the best country in the world, man. What's what's there to improve on? We're already the best we can be. And I I have always felt like that's a very um, obviously it's a very arrogant attitude and a very counterproductive attitude. And some people may say that I'm exaggerating that tendency somewhat, and perhaps I am. But one of the things that I liked about the United States as opposed to Canada, was that it's, it's okay to criticize America. Americans complain a lot, and I mean, obviously that's a bad thing. Obviously you don't want people to be complaining constantly, but it's okay to criticize the United States. It's okay to be in the United States and say, uh, you know, look, look at this aspect of our society. Isn't that just wrong? I mean, that's just, that shouldn't be that way. And... And there is some element as well in the United States of, hey, you know, we're number one, you know, we're, we're America, fuck yeah, the best country in the world. Uh, but that tendency, honestly, I believe is even stronger in Canada. There's j just this ridiculous tendency to fall back on the same grandstanding and say, Canada is number one, don't forget. So I really got tired of that. And when I came here to Russia, the tendency to criticize your own society is even stronger. Actually, Russians complain constantly about the problems that are in their society. Uh, typically complaints revolving around uh, things like government corruption, obviously, police uh, corruption or police brutality, uh, things like that, um, poor economic performance, um, crime, um, and all of those are real problems in Russia, although I think, to, to a certain extent, I feel like they're overblown, because, um, honestly, people talk, talk about crime here. I really think that crime in St. Petersburg is less of a problem than, let's say, in New York City or Los Angeles, um, and people talk about it more because, I guess, because maybe for that reason, because it's actually less common here. It actually, it literally seems like these events of serious crimes happening or police officers beating up random civilians, um, because it happens less here, it's actually talked about more. Uh, I mean, cops beating on people is a routine thing in... New York and LA, as well as, you know, some, to a lesser extent, some other American cities. And I think it's so common that people have just sort of grown used to it and they don't even talk about it anymore. Whereas here it happens maybe like, you know, once every couple of years, 
And because it's so rare, people haven't grown numb to it. And so they still talk about it and still talk about, hey, you know, remember three years ago when those, uh, when those riot police got together and just clubbed a bunch of people for no reason? Um, it, it's kind of funny how that happens. Sometimes when something is less common, it gets talked about more because people aren't uh, dulled to it yet. But anyway, anyway, that's not the point. But, and my point is that um, here in Russia, it's certainly not uh, unacceptable to point out the flaws in society, and people are keenly aware of the problems in their society. But if a funny thing happens when you are in a society like that, people become willing to work against those problems as opposed to Canada and the US where it's more about me, 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 what can I get for myself? Because we already live in a great society and so I don't need to do anything for other people because those other people already live in a developed country. I'm just gonna take whatever I can get for me here in Russia, there's more this idea of, you know, life here is okay, but it's flawed, and sometimes you have to do something about a problem in society. Um, and there's just this tendency for people to come together in a way that you don't see in North America. Um, I mentioned in uh, a previous video that... Um, um, that, that I was moving from one apartment to another because I had some problems with my old apartment. And several of my co-workers came together and helped me move. They helped me drag my possessions from one apartment to the other, which, you know, is not a huge job. I mean, it, it's not, it, it, you know, I mean, the whole process took a few hours, but still it was some work. One of my coworkers who had a car was willing to, um, you know, drive all my possessions across town to my new apartment. And when I offered to repay these people, I told them, "Hey guys, you know, let me let me buy you lunch. I mean, you came out here and helped me out. Let me, uh, you know, at least try to do something for you in return." And they all refused. I mean, these people flat out refused my offers to, you know, try to repay them in any small measure and they just said you were someone who needed help and we came to help you and that is that is a human reaction that is really the best of human nature when people can do that and that's, I'm not going to say that it would never happen in North America. Of course, it could happen and has happened. But it's, it would be a lot less likely. I mean, these weren't close personal friends of mine. These weren't friends who I'd known for years. These were co-workers of mine who I've been working with for like a couple of weeks. So they were certainly under no obligation to help me. I wasn't close to them, but I was just someone they knew. They were in a position where they felt that they could do some good and help me out. And they were more than willing to volunteer their time and efforts to do so and would refuse any offers of even a small gesture of compensation in return. that kind of sense of community, that kind of sense of society is perhaps, I think, one of the most important things that we as human beings can cultivate and cherish. I would rank that as more important than most of the things that that these organizations measure when they measure the the human development index or whatever they measure that that kind of sense of community i would even put above things like a socialized healthcare system or a great education system or something like that that's something that you can't legislate you cannot finance 
you cannot plan it just it is or it isn't either you have that kind of society or you don't and that's the kind of society that exists in Russia probably because it is not as rich a country as Canada or the US not as developed a country as Canada or the US and probably for that very reason people are that way and that's something that I think is probably more precious and more important to our lives than most North Americans could really understand unless they have experienced it for themselves. So when I am here and when I'm among such people, I feel glad to be a human being and I feel glad to be who and what I am. Thank you for listening, everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. Bye-bye for now.